I expect that where there is a confrontation, I've said this before, between criminals and my police officers, that my police officers will win and that those criminals will meet their demise rather than my police officers. No police officer should feel concerned or afraid to protect himself or any other member of the public who is being threatened by criminal gunmen. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan, a blessed and wonderful Wednesday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So, please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps, we are going to kick it off over there in the parish of Manchester where Officer Yeman pick and team at it again. Yeman me I tell you, the old dirty kind of boy, them knock it and clap it and of course Officer Yeman pick and team responded as the commissioner of police clearly stated in you know, my peeps that his officers must win during any confrontation with the old dirty corner boy them and that was definitely done yesterday in that brazen knockings and clappings with the old criminal elements out of Manchester and police officers. So watch this now my peeps, the police over there in the parish of Manchester have identified two men who were taken out by Officer Yeman Pick and Team following an alleged confrontation during a high speed chase, knockings and clappings in the Kingsland Meadows era of Spurtree Hill in Manchester. So all of that took place yesterday evening. They have since been identified as this man presently on your screen, Dwayne Baker, and his criminal counterpart, Cameron Witter. Now, what Witter is said to be from Knockpatrick era in the parish, and Baker is said to be from Kingsland. Now, uh, they were among four men accused of stealing six goats over there in Magati, St. Elizabeth. So the police stated that they were suspected to have been involved in multiple cases of predator larceny in Manchester and St. Elizabeth in recent times. A police source stated that the men were spotted sometime around 3.30 p.m. yesterday in Lacovia, St. Elizabeth. The Manchester police were alerted and given a description of a black Toyota Vitz motor car being used to transport the stolen goods from Magatha. So of course, in a quick response to all of that, Officer Yeman pick round up theme team and got moving. So they mounted a roadblock on a Spur Tree Hill main road. The source also stated that the vehicle was spotted and the driver was signaled to stop. However, the driver reportedly sped off almost licked down Officer Yeman pick to Yeman may I tell you the boy deal with the steering wheel a certain type of way and in a split second my peeps one of the criminal elements in the car made that ultimate mistake and pop off him chops and start knock it and clap it at officer yeman pick and team so of course in defense of his life and that of his colleagues officer yeman pick decide to start knock it and clap it back at the criminal elements in a high speed chase the driver of the car turned into kingsland meadows where the vehicle was cornered by the police on queensway close. Three of the men end up get 
can up after the smoke clear and the battle was won it is said that the fourth man escaped in bushes the three injured men were taken to the hospital where witter and baker was pronounced you know what the third man was admitted for treatment under police guard a source clearly stated that during a search of the vehicle a firearm was seized and the stolen goods were found a joint police military team was deployed to search the area for the suspect who escaped so anyway you feel like you and go and go hide the manchester people them i go push you out to the squad of them yeah man so it's best that you just turn in yourself to avoid any eventualities yeah man so anyway my peeps make we continue so in yesterday morning's vlog i made mention of a knockings and clappings that took place along maxfield avenue one of those roads that turn off maxfield avenue that can bring you back to walton park road the name of the road is burke road so that knockings and clappings took place on monday night so the police still saying that the men are unidentified but on the spot news media most definitely i go assist the police in identifying at least one of the two now the police is saying that the men are still unidentified one of the men are described as being bleached complexion bleached brown complexion slim built about 173 centimeters tall which is equivalent to about five feet eight inches tall and was clad in a black hooded jacket jeans and gray sneakers whilst the other man is of dark complexion slim built about 170 centimeters as tall which is equivalent to about five feet seven inches and was clad in a red t-shirt jeans and a pair of puma sneakers so this picture on your screen right now is the exact car that the men were sitting in and as you can see the windscreen is riddled with bullet holes <laughs> yeah man so reports from the hunts bay police is that sometime about 8 45 pm the residents heard some woolly pakana beat and summoned the police upon their arrival both men were seen in the nissan silphy motor car suffering from multiple can of can of wounds all over them body they were taken to the hospital where they were pronounced of course you know what yeah man so right i know on your screen is one of the criminal elements and yes i did say criminal elements we end up losing three points in a danakins and clappings there he has since been identified as russian preferred no this brother here is a serious knackis and clappis we literally just come out of jail now it is said that imanim crony went around by the Burke Road era of Maxfield Avenue to go purchase weapons and the man them set them up and end up slap them away. But we can definitely expect and I also speak to the members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and Jamaica Defence Force, especially those from the St. Andrew South and the St. Andrew North Police Division to look out for a serious backlash because this brother here, is the brother-in-law of Uzi, Uzi from up at Park Lane where they are prison right and now we all know who is Uzi and the whole Uzi saga so for those who have not heard about this brother here with them call Uzi this is Uzi presently on your screen he's the man who has been sending out hits from behind bars in the general Park Lane Reddills Road area this brother here is a dangerous knackis and clappis even though presently behind bars he still stands and reign supreme in that particular area now as i said they are in-laws as uzi is the baby father of russian's sister so you don't know how the connection they go right there so so russian is from the harbour view area and it is said that the man them set him up and end up getting food Niam, yeah man so watch this now my peeps yesterday evening during the hustle and bustle of after school at the meadowbrook preparatory school in saint andrew 
and knockings and clappings took place just outside the school gate taking the life of a man and a grade three student because of God's grace and mercies she escaped injuries so sources close to on the spot news media said that the traumatized pitney quickly jumped from the motorcycle and ran back to the school compound as the criminal elements launched an attack on her stepdad the victim who was not yet identified is believed to be from the cassava peace era in saint andrew according to a man who said he was familiar with the now deceased man it is said that the man was parked outside of the Meadowbrook Preparatory School on this motorcycle awaiting his stepchild to get out of the school compound and onto the bike. So as the child came from the school compound and hopped onto the back of the bike, the criminal elements struck peppering his body with a heel of can may i tell you the man them deal with him a certain type of way shut eye control and type of setting spread out like a sheet yeah man the frantic child upon seeing the criminal elements jump from the back of the bike and run back onto the school compound to sought refuge as her stepdad lay there lifeless poor may i tell you we can just imagine how frightened and traumatized that child was. We just give God thanks that her life was spared. Other parents, other kids and also staff members of the Meadowbrook Prep School express that they were indeed traumatized. One of the staff members indicated that lots of students indicated that they don't wish to come back to that school because of what took place yesterday. A family member of the girl that hopped off the back of the bike came and picked her up shortly after. So may I tell you no my peeps, this is the Jamaica that we are presently living in. No respect at all for life, no respect for our young ones, no respect for school, no respect for church. Wherever you are, a man is willing to come knock it and clap it for you and no business who is affected mentally, physically or otherwise. Boy, I may I tell you, my peeps, Jamaica is indeed in a very dark, dark place. Me not see no farm of brightness for the future. Paul Brook, lights out. Yeah, man. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.